Hi, Maria, more than 500 people a year are killed on average across the country in wrong way crashes, and we've certainly seen a number here in San Diego in recent months. Well, now heading into the holiday weekend, Caltrans is looking to do something about it. And Fox 5's Jeff McAdam joins us now from City Heights with a look at the new tool they're using. Jeff. Andrew, yeah, you can see them right over my shoulder right now. They are flashing LED lights around the do not enter wrong way signs. Uh, they will certainly grab the attention of most drivers, but will they stop everybody who's heading in the wrong direction? The widower of one wrong way driver doesn't seem to think so. Labor Day weekend means holiday parties and a rise in people climbing behind the wheel impaired. Traffic safety efforts by the CHP during 2020 Labor Day MEP resulted in more than 900 arrests for driving under the influence. Sadly, 46 people died in crashes throughout California that weekend. Please don't drive drunk. Please do not let a friend drive drunk. That may be the last time you see them. Council member Marnie Von Wilbert from District 5 says the goal is to stop people from driving under the influence in the first place. But if they do fire up the engine, she hopes these might steer them clear of disaster. And the data shows they work. Director DeLarda and the Caltrans team have taken steps to lead to reduction of 44% to 64% reduction in reported wrong way driver events. Caltrans rolling out these flashing LED wrong way signs on exit ramps at 67 locations throughout the county. The Sheriff's Department says they're effective on DUI drivers and people who simply make a wrong turn, but it may not stop everybody. Yeah, I, I think that anything that we do to try to alert people that they're going the wrong way uh, is a good idea. You know, any, anything that we do in that manner is a step in the right direction. But. Daryl Daniels lost his wife in a wrong way crash just a few months ago on I-5. His wife was driving the wrong direction when she slammed head on with another car, killing a married couple, two San Diego police officers. Daniels believes his wife was having a medical issue, a diabetic low, and has doubts these signs would have helped. Uh, so I don't think it would have prevented uh, uh, my wife's accident, but uh, some of the others that happened recently, it, it could have. Yeah, and by and large, hopefully this will have a positive impact. And Caltrans are say uh, they're also working on a new pilot program, surveillance cameras that are going to go into these signs as well. That way, if somebody blows right through these signs and, do and doesn't see them, it will alert uh, both Caltrans employees back in their offices as well as troopers with the San Diego Sheriff's Department. From City Heights, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News.